Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Wasteland. Today, we're going to talk about how to build others up by the way we speak. In speaking, we do that with a language. Language is a fundamental way through which human beings interact with the world around them. And our language fundamentally resides in our brains. And that is why if a man is blind, he can still speak. If a man is deaf, he can still read. And if a man is mute, he can still hear. Language is hardwired in the way we think. Don't you think so? Before you speak, it's important that you pause. Thank you thoroughly that you can speak. Bearing in mind that words, once spoken out, can hardly be retrieved back. Now you can do two things with your words. You can either build up or you can destroy. What if your what is your motive? What do you want to derive with your words? Bear in mind that what comes out of our mouths are likely driven by deep unconscious motivations. Unfortunately, these motivations are often tainted by factors as selfishness, anger, fear, happiness. Do you know what I mean by that? When we speak, the person standing by the side can denote whether you are angry, whether you are speaking out of fear, or whether inwardly you are happy as you speak. And that is why the Bible tells us in Ephesians 4, 29, do not let any unwholesome word come out of your mouth. What is unwholesome? What do you understand by words that are unwholesome? Any word that will not build another person up is unwholesome. Any word that can destroy a person is unwholesome. And the Bible is admonishing us not to allow any unwholesome talk come out of our mouths. But only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs. Did you hear that? According to their needs, not your needs. That it may benefit those who listen. So when you speak, others should be able to learn from your words. So here is a simple checklist based on the verse Ephesians 4:29. One is what you are going to say wholesome. Two, how will what you are going to say build up the other person? Three, what are the needs of the other person in their present circumstances? Four, how will what you are going to see benefit the other person? These are things you should check them and find get a positive answers to them before you can speak. Thank you so much for listening. I hope I've impacted into your life today. Hoping to see you tomorrow. Cheers. Thank you.